Hi guys, welcome back to the Android tutorial part three by Prabish. Uh, in the previous part, I am dem I will uh, I demonstrate how to install Android SDK on your computer for Android development. Uh, so your Eclipse IDE is now ready for Android development. So in this part, I am going to explain how to create an Android virtual device AVD for your uh, Android Android development and Android uh, virtual device is nothing but it is like an Android phone uh, in order to check the project you have created using the Eclipse IDE uh, it's not po it is not possible to uh, connect an Android device uh, to the computer each time for checking an Android project so the Android uh, software developing it Android SDK is uh, Android SDK providing you um, a device called Android Virtual Device for testing your project. So you have to in this step, I will explain how to set up an Android Virtual Device for your uh, Eclipse IDE. So uh, in order to do that, uh, open up your Eclipse IDE and go to the uh, window tab. Uh, in that window tab, you can see an AVD Manager option is present here. Uh, open that AVD Manager. Uh, here I am already setting uh, one of uh, I am already set up an Android virtual device uh, so here I am going to demonstrate I am going to again create a new AVD for demonstrate you how to create an AVD so uh, choose that option new option uh, again there is a new window a new window appear in the Eclipse uh, to create an a, a new AVD so uh, you have to specify a name for your AVD. Here I sp uh, name my. Uh, here I am going to uh, naming my new AVD virtual device as uh, my project tester. Okay, here I am naming my new device as my project tester and here there is an SD card option is present here you have to specify uh, a memory you have to specify the size of the SD card memory for your Android virtual device here I am uh, specifying as 1 GB 1024 MB it is um, equal to 1 GB of memory size um, you have to uh, there is uh, a lot of options are present here uh, Please leave all, all of them. You don't need to uh, choose any of. Here is a uh, built version. Here is a target version is present for your AVD. You have to specify a target for your AVD. Here I am choosing a target of Android 2.2 with API level 8. Uh, a target is nothing but the maximum API level supported by the AVD. That is, if you if I am choosing uh, an API level of 8 that is Android 2.2 Android version 2.2 it is not possible to run any project it is not possible to test any project higher than this API level so uh, keep remember that if you are choosing an API level of 8 it is not possible to run or it is not possible to test any project higher than this API level within this AVD okay uh, so now click finish now click create AVD and uh, option to create this AVD okay waiting for the uh, AVD to create okay guys now you can see my new AVD is uh, set up here uh, the my new AVD is the my project tester uh, with target name as Android 2.2 platform 2.2 and API level as 8 and it was a CPU uh, category of ARM uh, CPU category okay now your AVD is set up and now I am going to demonstrate to how to start this AVD um, so I just select this AVD and here is a start option is present here so I just click the start button uh, you have to scale your AVD if you are uh, running the AVD in default uh, in default screen size it will it will pretty a very large size of uh, AVD it is not uh, sufficient um, it is a large size of 
large screen size so you have to uh, scale the AVD so I choose this option and select the size of uh, 6 for my screen size 6 inches for my screen size and uh, click launch now my AVD is uh, going to start up okay guys here is my AVD startup uh, it will take uh, some time for starting for the first time so you have you you have to be a little patient for uh, for starting the AVD to completely start up um, please wait for a wait for some time to start to launch the AVD uh, fully loaded the AVD okay guys here is my AVD startup you can see it is uh, just like an Android phone uh, here is all the phone facilities are available here all the four functions keys are available here uh, you can see that it is exactly look like an Android phone so uh, you are successfully setting up your Android uh, your AVD for starting for testing your project uh, so now uh, by doing all these steps you are successfully set up uh, the Android uh, preparation on your computer now your computer is completely ready for uh, starting Android uh, project development okay guys thank you for watching and the next part I am going to explain how to create a simple project how to create a simple project in Android using the Eclipse IT and how to test it in the uh, Android virtual device AVD so okay guys thank you for watching and subscribe my channel see you in the next part